All right, right on folks, John Crane here, and I just wanted to make a quick video on this pocket door that I built. Now, I wanted to show it to you before I cover it up. Now, there's a lot of pocket door kits that you can buy, but I actually like to build my own. Well, I actually do buy the kit. I buy this kit, it's a Johnson sliding pocket door kit, but the only thing I keep from the whole kit is this aluminum track and the two little carriages wheels here that the door rides on. The rest of the whole thing I actually throw in the garbage and I build my own. I build my own out of two by fours that I turn on side. Sometimes I've made them out of two by six. Now this is important to get nice dry lumber for this that isn't gonna twist later. So I put up my two by fours. Let me show you a closer look here. So I just have two by fours turned on their edge for the framing. I have a two by four here at the bottom turned on edge and I've toe screwed these boards in. And then up above, you can see I have a board up at the top that I have the track attached to. Now, it's really important to get this board nice and level for obvious reasons. And here it rides on these two guys that attach to the top of the door. This is a three wheel system and you can adjust this pocket door up and down with these adjustment screws with this Johnson track system. And if we take a look here inside of the pocket, you can see I've created a little block that sticks out and has a couple rubber bumpers. So when I close the door, it has something soft to hit against. And then also that's cut to the right length so that this door closes nice and flush with our trim. For the hardware on the door, it's kind of hard to see because this is a black door and I have black hardware, but this is a finger pole that is recessed into the door. I also made this finger pole that's recessed into the edge just for quick, easy access to pull this door out of the pocket. And then down here at the bottom of the door, I have a piece of aluminum C-channel routed into the bottom of the door and that makes it nice track. I have a guide pin that sticks up into this and that is nice so this door doesn't slide up against either edge here. It keeps the door nice and centered in the pocket. All right, I just wanted to show you that you can build your own pocket door and you don't have to spend a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars to make it. I think I spent on this whole pocket door about a hundred and fifty dollars and it's actually really strong and sturdy. That's a nice solid wall. That's a lot more solid than some of these pocket door kits that when you push on these walls, it's a little bit flimsy. And this door slides so nice and smooth. It's not noisy. I know there's some fancy kits that have some soft closed features, but for me, this is nice and deluxe. Now I did make another video where I show how to make the router jigs, how to route in the hardware for the door poles, for the track on the bottom. I will put a link in the description and a link at the end of this video to that video that will show you how to route in all the hardware. That's pretty cool. I make some nice router jigs. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this pocket door video. I think this came out deluxe. I have some other videos coming up too about the rest of this bathroom, the vanity. I'm doing a really cool wall over here that's gonna have some succulent plants on it and some LED lighting for it. All right, I hope you guys are great and I'll see you all soon. Right on.